Hi again, guys. It's Meredy here with Not Just For Boys Kit Club, and I'm here with our second process video using the intellectual kits. And today I'm gonna work with the following um, items. Let's see here. Let me get this a little organized. This is my little color swatch, so I can remember if I need to refer back to that for any reason. I'm going to work with three four by six pictures here of my son. He got some trophies when he was in fifth grade. Um, the main piece of paper that I'm going to use today is this Academia wood grain on one side and it's all these amazing numbers on the other. So I'm probably gonna use a little bit of both sides because I love them both for this layout. I did pull out a few little goodies here. I probably will put my main picture of him that's in focus. Um, with that little frame and then I've got the congrats you did it some stars because of course it's school I've got a little faux flash card that came in the ephemera pack the protractor a little label a tab so proud the little triangle and then I really think I want to fussy cut uh, these books this is the packaging from 49 and market so I would love to fussy cut those books and use them as embellishments, which I probably am just gonna go off camera right now and do that really quick so it will just be done and ready. I've got all these little books cut, so now they're ready for me too. Okay, and then I've got this scrap of paper. Not sure if I'm gonna use, um, use it, maybe a little bit on this side. I probably don't think I'm gonna use this side. So if I use it, it'll be a little of that side. I've of course got this branding strip that looks like little buttons. I've got my leftover ephemera that I didn't pull to coordinate with pictures. Like I pulled all this to coordinate with these pictures. These are all the pieces that I didn't put with any pictures. So I've got a few pieces in here. And then of course I've got uh, some more of these frames. Um, I already used, I'm already using one on this layout. I've got these, I have all three colors of washi here, all three styles of washi, because um, some of you got this one, some of you got this one, and some of you got this one, but you know, I'll use different ones on different layouts just so you can all see what the washi that you got looks like on a layout. So I'm just gonna grab one for this layout. I've got these other extra little bits and pieces here. I've of course got all of my titles and my alphabets and my stencil. I'm actually gonna open this up. As you may be able to tell from my videos, I do not like keeping things in their packaging. So, oh, and then this is gonna represent my journaling wherever I end up putting that on the layout. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, um, of course I've got all my mixed media pulled off to the side too and the, um, mist that came with this kit is in there as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut my branding strip off and then it's on the back of the branding strip it has these little phrases. So I'll keep that handy in case I need that. And then I think I should map my pictures possibly. Let me, let me get some of these things moved away so I can get a handle here on what I've got going on. How do I want to lay these out? I don't even know if I really need this one because I've got this one of him showing me the awards close up. That's like an identical picture. So I think I'm just gonna use these two and I'm gonna get rid of this. When I print my pictures, like I printed those pictures, this was from 2020. So I probably printed these pictures in 2020. Um, and I didn't have any idea, you know, how I was gonna scrapbook them back then. I just printed them because that's what I do. So um, yeah, I, I had no plan going in. You know, I do have this other frame it's a little tiny though. Let me see what other frames. I, since I've only got two pictures here, I would love if they both could fit each of them in a frame, not just the one. But I have all of these frames as well. So let me quick look through here. I might have used the other frame that's this size on my layout yesterday. I think I did. I might just kind of MacGyver this frame right here. 
and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Make it work, we'll see. So I think I want both of my pictures to be about like that. Maybe I can just layer up different things underneath this side. No, I don't know. Um, and then I think I'm going to tear this wood grain paper because I want to use some of the back. Maybe I'll put these down here. I'm just gonna give it a nice tear about three to four inches off. Oh, I did it the wrong direction. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little jagged edge off. So I've got eight inches of this paper left hole. Let's see if this will look nice. Huh. I don't know what I'll use that for yet. I'm gonna continue tearing it towards me. So I just have a real skinny strip and maybe I'll put it on the other side of the layout over there. So next I think I need to grab a white piece of paper to use as my background here. So I can kind of get these goodies laid out. And then I maybe do not want to use this really graphic black, uh, black and white paper, it just might be a little too much. And I don't know about this one either. I'm all over the place here. Um, I'm gonna try to just start laying out things across my page where I think they might look good. Um, I do need some more layers here. This is very, very plain and I need more layers for sure. Um, I wonder. I'm probably going to use some mixed media in the back as well because it's very stark white right now. And then yeah I need I'm gonna need some other pieces in here so let me try and maybe I don't need all of these books because I think the three little pieces of books are good now if I put a little of this behind these pictures let me see what that looks like I'm gonna cut apart I'm just going to cut this in half. So this piece is three inches by nine inches right here. If you're following along. Oh, I kind of do like a little bit of that showing. I'll probably save this scrap for another page. I'm going to cut out the word superstar. Now, I think I do want to use uh, this stencil in the background ever so slightly. Like, I just want a little of it to show. Um, the way I can do that... I think 
I'm gonna have to adhere some of these things down so I could just pick this up as one giant group. So I'm gonna just start adhering down. I'm not going to adhere it to the back of the page, but I'm just going to start adhering these layers so that all these pictures and embellishments are just one giant piece for me to move around. So I'm gonna get them all adhered together as a grouping that I can just easily move and I will be right back. Okay, I've pretty much got this in one piece so I can move it easily. Oop, I forgot to get that down. You know, I'm gonna leave this off in case I need to adjust it at all. But at least this is easy to move back and forth. So I'm gonna start on my background um, a couple of different ways. Let's see, let me move these goodies out of the way. I think that I want to slightly, um, slightly distress my background first using um, an ink pad and some water. Let's see, which one do I wanna use? I think antique linen. And then I wanna go over the top with my stencil in the tea dye. So in order to distress the bottom with the antique linen uh, distress oxide ink pad, I'm going to go get a glass mat first. And I've got my glass mat here. I'm just gonna put it part of the way on the screen. I'll just use this side. And what I'm gonna do is just Smoosh a little bit of this off. Get my spritzer. My mini mister. I'm getting it pretty, pretty diluted right there. And I'm just going to put this all over the background. So it's like a little bit watercolory. And I'm just gonna do that. Um, if you are part of our Facebook community group, Lacey does a live video once a month working with the kit, whatever kit came out that month. And this past month in August, she used a brayer to apply this and it was just amazing. And it makes me want to go out and buy a brayer the next time I'm ordering scrapbook supplies. So I probably will do that. It looked really, really cool with the brayer. But the point I'm making is Lacey does awesome um, Facebook Live videos where she puts together a whole layout. Uh, it usually takes her less than a layout, less than an hour. Sometimes she um, has to add a couple little final finishing touches. Um, off camera at the end before her layout's 100% complete. But usually she completes like 95% of the layout right there live on Facebook. You can comment, ask questions. Usually Paula and I are in there also commenting and we would love for you to watch it in September. She usually does them on a Wednesday. It's usually like the second or third Wednesday of the month. So um, I'm not exactly sure what day she is the exact date that is in september you don't have a calendar with me right now but um you should stop by and watch that live and of course it's always on replay but it's more fun when you watch it live because then you can ask questions and we can chat and it ends up being really fun okay this is still drying but i'm gonna go ahead over it with my stencil i'm just figuring out exactly where i want my stencil work here I'm going to use the tea dye and I'm going to go ahead and use it with just a little blending brush and I'm just really, really lightly going over the stencil. So yeah, I, we would love for you to join us on her lives. She does a really good job. I don't know how she puts together layouts that quickly. I mean, my videos aren't super long, but again, I pause them and edit out when I'm doing things like adhering things down so you don't have to watch every single moment of what I'm doing in these videos but yeah Lacey just she just gets going and it's fun to watch and chat okay and then I think I need a little down here somewhere 
not too sure where this is, is heading down here. I think I need to grab my, my little layout here and whoop. Oh, that was just completely covered up and pointless. So let's do some more. I think I need it to be in this area. And I'm putting very little on this brush and it's really modeled, like it's not uniform at all. As you can tell, there's darker, lighter, really light. Let's see if this is better. Oh good. I think I still need a little bit more up there. This little picture is bigger than what I think. I am gonna put a little bit down here at the bottom. Just a tiny little bit to be sticking out underneath. Oh, I think this is going to be good. Um, do I need to put a little up here? Because I've got these guys up there. Mm, no, I think it just might be too much if I do that. Okay, so that's it. That was how easy the mixed media was. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, you can be messy. You can't even really tell how messy this first layer that I did was, but it just adds a little depth that I used two different colors. So I'm just going to start adhering everything down. Um, okay, now I can adhere this big grouping and I can give it a lot of good adhesive because I didn't put too much adhesive on when I adhered it together um, in the beginning. Oh, and these, the words right here, need foam tape. Uh, this, you did it, it needs foam tape on the back because it's a little popped up there. Okay, I think I'm gonna place it right here uh, the very, very bottom needs a little trim. You got like a tiny bit of the next line of checkers and it's very distracting to me. So much better. Okay. So I think I will put it right there. And now I can come in with the rest of these pieces and get them on there. I'm going to pop up this congrats also with foam adhesive. And I'm going to glue these stars down with glue. And then I'm going to start messing with that little, this little thing that goes up here. And when I get that all adhered down, I will be back to see if there's any other finishing touches that we need to add. I'm thinking about adding some sequin splatters on here to just kind of spruce it up a little. So I will be right back. I'm going to add a little strip of washi down here at the bottom just to add a little color in there. Okay, and then this books, I think I'm going to trim them a little. They were just a little too long feeling for me up there. And then Yeah. I like them much better a little bit shorter. Now, we've got a few other things here. I'm probably not going to use the letters. Let me see if I need any of these. Let me read these really quick. I do like the word brilliant. Okay, and then I'm gonna see if I can find a little tag or something to, to stick under there so that kind of grounds I like this one, but it says laundry. Don't really want it to say laundry. That's a little too white. 
This one might be cute. Just to kind of ground those things up there. Don't know if I like the gold as much. Okay, well, I can always cover up the word laundry on this with a little bit of this washi. And that's what I think I'm going to do because I like the color and the size of this tag and I think it will look great. Or maybe I can even cover it up with this word brilliant if I place it in the right way. Let's see. Of course, I've already adhered all of this down. So I'm just gonna cut the tag and make it look like it's sticking out from under there. Yeah, I think I like that. I've got to cut it just a tiny bit more. Okay, yeah, I think I really like that. So I was able to fix that little area that looked a little disconjointed up there. Now it kind of holds it together. Um, do I need the bottom of this tag anywhere? I don't think so, no. So I'll just save it in with my little things. And I think, I feel like I need something little down here. What could I put down there? Oh, I like that little. I don't know that I necessarily like the pencil on it. I just might like the little tag. So I'm going to wedge that underneath there. That's good. Nope. Don't want that there. This is the leftover piece of that little tag that I just put on the bottom. kind of cute. I'll put it up there. I like cutting things in half, putting half on one side and half on another side of my layout. And then it makes the embellishments last twice as long too. So I think this is going to wrap up this layout. Let me show you where I would put my journaling here. When I go to journal, I probably will either put it right down here or way up there. I really like it up there. Maybe even going off the side like that. Yeah, I'll probably put it like that. So um, I hope you guys like this layout. Um, if you're following along, creating along with me, I would love to. We would love to see your creations on our Not Just for Boys Kit Club Community Facebook group, and I will link that in the description here. That is also where you can go to watch Lacey's live video this month, um, and she'll be putting together a layout live, and we can chat and have fun there. And uh, even if you didn't, even if you use this layout for inspiration using your own supplies from your stash we would still love to see what you create on our um, Facebook page so thank you guys so much um, if you like these videos you might want to subscribe this is the second video for September I'm planning on having about eight process videos throughout the month of September with the same kit so thank you guys so much bye